All right, everyone, let's do this. This is Lego Ideas Roundup for early April 2020. Uh, let's see, first of all, come down here and celebrate the fact that we've achieved support for what is my favorite set on uh, ideas right now. And then my windmill, and it's not mine, but this windmill that I particularly like is uh, crossed its uh, halfway point. So 5,000 supporters going strong. Yay, yay. Who knows what they'll actually approve of, but uh, this thing got all of its support in about two months, or three months, I guess. Um, so it, it went pretty fast. It's a staff pick. I think the likelihood is high that they'll do this. And I'll come back to this later, actually, because one of the sets we're going to be reviewing today might be uh, a good counterpart to it. Anyway, uh, I wanted to look at this one. If you, if you know me, um, this is obviously a set that I might personally really like. Uh, I don't know that I necessarily love the build, but look at this roof. I think that <laughs> when I look at this, I'm kind of torn as to whether I think it's amazing or whether I think that it would be a pain <laughs> to build. But uh, let's go through, you know, the the idea of these twin towers sticking up. The I guess the uh, landscaping could certainly be improved, but... You know, it's fun. It's the kind of thing that uh, you could count on LEGO Ideas team doing something with. This bridge is... Uh, uh, it's a rope bridge. I, I might have expected more of an arch here, uh, supporting a more permanent structure, but whatever. I, I, I like the idea of these two towers and, and the bridge between them. But I really... I, I keep coming back to it, but that roof is really the standout on this set. It's very clever, it's very interesting, and it <laughs> kind of like, wow, that would be a pain to put together, but <laughs> whatever. Uh, you can see it's made up of these little tiny slopes, and you can see, I don't know, there's, it's a lot of detail, it looks pretty cool. <sighs> we keep getting these black falcon shields popping up throughout, but you know, the, it, it's it's supposed to be a battle, and so you got with the trumpet and these horses, and and all of these things. They actually have, there's a close-up later on, but the, these stands that are helping the horses rear up, which is funny because this horse looks like it ought to be able to rear up by itself, right? It's got the hinge on its butt. Anyway, uh, so, you know, the, the building is a little plain, the landscape is a little sparse. I like the idea of it. It's the kind of thing that if it got support, I think that the version that got released would be an improvement on this, but I, I still think it's cool. Um, one thing is is uh, the you can kind of see stairs. Oh, there we go. So this is the back side, um, or no, this is the front side with the first wall removed. That's what we're looking at. So so these appear to be stairs going up, and you can see there's there's a m multiple floors throughout. So I do think that's pretty cool. Here's all your here's all your uh, soldiers, and I do like the idea that you can you know get a set and have a number of soldiers. So it's like six soldiers, or no, seven soldiers in these back. Uh, these gray guys, there's seven of them, and six of the red and white guys. Um, I like that, you know. Uh, sometimes I feel like I, you buy a set and you get three guys, and you're like, well, that's enough for a sitcom, but not really for a, a battle. All right, well, that's that. Good enough. I might come back and support this later. I, I'm not sold on it yet, but it is, it's the kind of thing that you'd expect me to like. Okay, now we're actually going to do a series here of uh, wizard towers <laughs> for whatever reason. Uh, this became a very popular thing to do. Both of them, well, they're both cool and a little bit disappointing each, but let's look at these. Uh, you can see the, the Gandalf-looking character here, and a traveler of some sort. He's got a, a bag and a sword. And then, I do like the landscaping here, as opposed to the last one, which was extremely plain. The landscaping here, you've got this big rock outcropping in the back. You've got these these trees. This one's really interesting with all of the, uh, the Technic pieces. Um, there, there's rocks. This... This one actually looks like it's inside of a garden, so maybe it's, say, it's your magic tree, or well, whatever you want to imagine. Uh, this only has three pictures. So front, back, and you can see the rock uh, outcropping with a little bit more detail. You can see that this is a little bit repetitive as it goes around, but it's it's still nice. And you can see the tree's roots coming through here. I think that it's good. There's there's the rest of the wall surrounding this uh, this red and orange tree. And then... Uh, over here we have kind of the the far side where you can see his 
his face. And I suppose this is supposed to be a chimney of some sort, but it kind of looks like maybe a spell uh, got out of hand and exploded out of his window. <laughs> is stuck there. It just looks so messy. I don't, I don't know what's trying to be communicated there. I do like all of these elements. There's the spikes and the old samurai uh, adornment and the wings, and it just kind of makes up the the uh, transition from the stone tower to the to the frame top. And it's it's interesting. I don't know. It's anyway. There's only three pictures, so we get no interior on this, which is unfortunate. But that's that's what we got. Anyway, Wizard Tower number two, <laughs> and and again, both of these were released. Uh, let me let me make sure. I don't always yeah see different people. This is this is Dominic QN. This is uh, George Brickman, and you know different uh, art Lego artists if you want to use that phrase. But two Wizard Towers, and both of them are interesting in their own way. I think that I prefer this one, um, while the other one has maybe the better landscaping. This one also just two characters, and I r really do like this uh, uh, pine tree and the snowy feel here. I think that that's really cool. I love this front door and how the the tower is built on top of these rocks. But this one has a uh, ten pictures versus three, so you get a better feel for it. Um, I do love this this vine winding around it. I think that's really cool. I've I've never myself built one of these. Uh, circular towers, of, so I'm kind of always looking at these and kind of ooing and aahing about them because they are very, very interesting. You can see a cave down here with, like, I think, a spider in it or, or something. And now here it is opened up. Now, tell me that's not cool. This is this is exactly how to build the round tower and do it right. I think that this is just cool. I wish that there was maybe like stairs up to a middle floor and then stairs up to a top floor because I feel like there's a lot of wasted interior here, but the winding stairs are uh, at least interesting in their own way. Oh, excuse the sniffles. I've got some pretty fierce allergies going on here. And uh, from this upper floor, you can get onto the ladder and go all the way up into the bedroom up here. And so as far as I can tell, everything is accessible, which is cool. And over here, so so if you opened this up, then this would be the back of the roof. And it is a attic with a spider, and and I love the the roof's build with the with the what would you say the the hinged angles and everything. These these uh, snow pe the the icicles. I don't know. Everything about this is just really really interesting. It's a it's a beautiful look. Uh, let's see. There's that front door that I was admiring earlier, with, again, the icicles hanging off the side. Again, I really like this tree. I think that that's pretty darn cool. And I'm always, always a sucker for treasure box coves. <laughs> I think that's that's always fantastic. And you can see, you know, all of the uh, the amazing detail that goes into building these round towers. I, I just don't have enough of this piece and uh, and some pieces like that to make this happen in my collection but you know here's the hinges that make it open so there's a lot going on here there's a lot of creativity and I think that they've done just a fantastic job putting it together there's the spider cave cuz why not and there's the what the I guess the apprentice character trying on his master's hat as he apparently comes down the stairs saying who took my hat sure why not Maybe he's uh, so so here where the other chimney right on on the last one looked like bleh, this looks like a chimney maybe it's a little bit busy it's a little bit uh, what a lot of stuff here going on you know these these angled pieces whatever it looks cool and same thing over here you can see it's built to look a little bit messy but the messiness doesn't overtake it so I think that's a good build and you can see the patches of snow on here and. And there's a there's a close up detail on the the bedroom and and uh boy again the telescopes we <laughs> we haven't seen a uh set that didn't have a fantastic telescope on it for quite a while <laughs> uh, at least at least once per per video okay so that's that's the last image i think that this is pretty cool of the two towers i prefer this one i still think that it has some weaknesses in that there's so much space inside here that isn't being used and that could be an improvement 
but overall I really do like this and I'll probably be just as happy to support it. Okay, well, if the Pirates theme cannot get traction in real Legoland, maybe it can get traction, obviously it has, in Ideas, and so we have Barracuda Bay, but then we also now have, uh, and, and, and there was one, I think I did a couple of weeks ago, but there was one of these Imperial Forts, and now here's another one, and I, I think I kind of like this one better. <coughs> but, you can see it's using the old school flags, so good for them. These, so, so it's got these two roofs, um, I actually have a custom one of these, and I use a red roof on one of the buildings, and I think that that looks right. I guess this this orange to me looks distracting. It looks just faded enough from the yellow that it doesn't doesn't quite work for me. But the thing that really doesn't work for me are these pretzels. <laughs> they just it looks like a pretzel. It doesn't look like ah. I mean, I know that they've used these on some. Uh, expert creator sets where they were upside down and, and kind of filled a, a decorative void, but these just look like pretzels. They <laughs> so that might be something that we want uh, to have improved. But overall here, this is pretty cool. They got lots of cannons. You've got these uh, skeletons hanging over here. Uh, you can see how they built this awning over here. And uh, again, the orange element's kind of making up this front gate, and, and actually this is a uh, not a drawbridge, but if the if the docks are over here and the and the rock that this thing is built on is over here, then this this comes up, and so it's a it is a bridge between uh, the two sides. But right, anyway, let's go through this. Uh, there's kind of an upper view. You know, I really need to get in on. Uh, oh, I forget what this site is called, but. Uh, I, I've spent a little bit of time on it, but people are doing such amazing things in it nowadays that uh, maybe I need to get on that. So here's your kitchen, because why not? Here is... Uh, yeah, so I don't know if this is supposed to be a potion or... A, uh, the the pirate liquor bottles are all green, so maybe the imperial liquor, liquor bottles are all purple, I'm not sure. The old school tree, which I do like... Uh, better than a lot of uh, trees we've had more recently. Here's your prison down here. Uh, this guy, <laughs> look at this pirate with his big beard. That's fantastic. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to be. It doesn't look like it's working a trap door or anything like that. I'm not, maybe the pictures give it away and I just missed it earlier. But, you know, the key, the rat, the cheese. Ah, pretty cool. Here's your turkey. Hey, we just beat the pirates. Let's all eat. Um, this is... Uh, that chandelier is pretty cool. See, we do have a better view of it over here, I guess. Uh, you can see inner chain or inner uh, mittent flames and jewels, I guess. Uh, what do we have? Anyway, I I do think that overall it looks a little bit messy, and that might just be something that is easy to clean up, and that's not something to worry about. But I do, I, I guess there's a line to be found between the messiness and uh, the detail, because I do like some of these things, like the, the sea life that's down here, and the fact that these uh, gold bar pieces are used as bricks right here. On the other hand, this orange top on these battlements, uh, it's it just kind of gives a messiness to it. Same with these things. While normally I like an ornate gate, this maybe it's just the colors. The colors aren't working for me. That orange needs to be swapped out for a red or something like that. Okay, so again, here's a uh, hard focus on my pretzel tower. <laughs> and uh, I, I do love it when these pirate ports have some kind of functionality like this. Uh, here's your... Here's your boat, and I think that, um, so yeah, here would be your, uh, whatever, your admiral. And these are, oh, I didn't notice this before, but these are pom-poms used as uh, decorative shrubs or, or bushes right here. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that element. Um, and, and you can see these, uh, I, I think of them as elf's, Lego elf swirls, but kind of used throughout. That's fine. She's good. And there's the dangling pirate. I love that this one has a sword running through it. Some of these guys are missing limbs. There's just there's some fantastic things going on here. I'm not sure what to think about the spider in the tree, though. Although spiders do live in trees. Ah, uh, so here's... Uh, I, I guess... Whatever. I, I could be hypercritical, but I'm not going to. Whatever. This is all cool. <laughs> 
Um, but anyway, again, the gate just, I, I don't know, maybe it's just like the sickly yellow and the, and the, this, this, what, rusty orange, I, I don't know, it just doesn't work together or something, but it makes me go, ugh, even though I, I should like this. Okay, so you can see it's modular, it comes apart, here's all the, here's all the different parts, so yay, looks great, and, and there it is coming apart again, so as you can see the, the bridge coming up. Anyway, overall, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I think that the colors need to be reworked a little bit, but overall, I think this is a good build. I'll be happy to support it. And then, as long as we're in Pirates, um, I know I'm doing a lot of these today, but there were a lot of cool builds. And this is a little bit disappointing, because the images don't show me the interior. Look how much room there should be for an interior. And kind of what we have is... Uh, here's a picture of the deck, here's a picture of the lots of guns, and, you know, here's these characters up on top. I do like this in the, in the big stairs, you know, so hooray, this is fantastic, but, um, we don't, uh, oh, maybe this is an interior. I, I thought this was the deck, but okay, maybe this is the deck down here, and this is, this is down below. Anyway, the, I guess, I guess that being the case, this is a little bit disappointing, especially given how fantastic the interior of the uh, the new pirate ship is in Buccaneer Bay. So this is a Pirates of, it's supposed to be a Pirates of the Caribbean set, so here's all of these characters. Meh. I'd just as soon have a regular pirate set. Okay, I'm, I'm starting over. Okay, but the last one that I wanted to look at <laughs> is this beauty. Um... And so I, I did mention that it would maybe go hand in hand with this, because if they could build something that's like the Forester Castle, and then also build something that's like the Black Falcon Castle, which older fans like myself have been wanting for, you know, since the 80s, since they discontinued Black Falcon, um, this would be cool. Now again, kind of the messy look, but it is structured well enough and ordered well enough. I think that they could improve on it overall, but um, generally I think this is... It, it's like it, it incorporates all of the new bricks and the modern elements that we have today that they didn't have back in the day and and does it well. Maybe, you know, some of these things aren't necessary. <laughs> some of these things could be smoothed over a little bit. But I do appreciate that they're going for detail and they're trying to make this look like a pile of rocks that it is. Uh, let's see, so here's all of your characters. Here's your female knight, because, uh, I don't know, I always had one. Um, I like their uniforms a lot. I think they look really, really cool. Of, of course, there's the one throw-in peasant. He's your, he's your token, token surf. we gotta have <laughs> got to have representation. And now it's modular, and here's the whole thing taken apart. And... And this is just cool, but you can see how many floors there are, how much detail there is, and you can kind of argue that it's sort of like a, a, a grandized Black Falcon's Fortress. On the inside, you've got a well here, which is cool. You've got these ladders running up to the battlements and, and down among them, so that's pretty cool. I like uh, in-universe accessibility when it comes to these castles. Here's your stables. That's something that you haven't seen in in a, what a, an official LEGO castle build is to have the stables inside the castle before, so I like that. I don't know what this is over here, but it looks cool. Maybe <laughs> maybe it is cool. Uh, and, and again, the chickens. I, I just think they'll often include rats in their castles, and I just think that they need to put in more pigs and goats and chickens because that's... Ah, the, well that, that's the kind of thing that you'd expect. Beautiful. It looks really, really good. I like this handle. Uh, the torches look good. The flags, the black and the and the yellow, everything just looks really fantastic. And here's a top down. You can see how unique this tower is compared to the other ones. And I I like that. I think that it's good. There's the back. I don't know. Maybe there's a maybe there's a secret passage back here. It seems like if Lego were actually to uh, take this and run, they would definitely they would definitely stick a secret passage somewhere in there. Um, you can see th there are some rooms, quite a few rooms actually, and they're a little bit cramped, but that's okay. The detail makes it worth it. So here's your strategy room. Um, I think these are 
I think this is part of a chair is what this is uh, rather than a, a treasury here's a prison oh that's what we were looking at before so this is a this is a prison okay okay and there's your there's your dead skeleton singing here's your very cramped kitchen there there's a pretzel being used correctly <laughs> but again the the detail makes it cool um, here's your very cramped armory maybe that's worth it I do like this two-sided axe I mean it would probably be impractical in an actual battle but whatever looks cool and there's your bed why not again cramped but the fact that they have these detailed rooms here makes it all pretty cool so there that is anyway this is really really exciting and I'm definitely clicking support on this one I am more than enthusiastic about that and that's it that's your early April Lego ideas roundup and I'll do one uh, a little bit later in the month and see what else comes in but uh, keep them coming guys I think that people are doing great things in ideas and I uh, I had nothing but nothing but positive things to say about everybody involved. So, I'll see you next time.